Hi, I'm Ria, and I'm joined by Dimitri. We're AI developers at Intel, and today we're excited to talk to you about how to develop generative AI applications on the AI PC in six simple steps. If you didn't catch our last video, an AI PC is a powerful personal computer capable of running advanced AI applications locally. It's exciting to think about how AI applications can bring intelligence to a PC, kind of like a magic wand. What about building a personalized assistant chatbot? Ria, I have our meeting minutes from our last call that I need to catch up on. Let's create a meeting assistant that can answer questions about our notes, like summarize my top three action items from today's meeting and it have all run on my PC. How can we do this? All right, to build it together, we're going to have to use a large language model with Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG. RAG is a technique that lets us query LLMs about external documents. It lets us make our PC smarter for everyday tasks, like summarizing emails, extracting the right commands from code docs, and so much more. We support these techniques in the OpenVINO toolkit today, allowing you to optimize these models to run on your system so you can carry your assistance with you wherever you go. Let's look at how to do this in six steps. First, we'll use OpenVINO, our free open source toolkit, to build our application on the AI PC. Step one, we'll get this notebook from the OpenVINO Notebooks repository, where we've got hundreds of examples, including Gen AI models such as chatbots, image generation models like Stable Diffusion, and so much more available. Step two, after installing our prerequisites, we can start with selecting the LLM model we'll use for this application. In this case, let's select the Llama 2 Chat 7 billion model, a popular AI model used for chatbots. Step three, to run this model on the CPU engine, we're going to have to go ahead and quantize it. Dimitri, can you tell us more about the quantization process? Sure, Ria. Yeah. Quantization is the process of compressing a model to reduce its model size and footprint. For the quantization processes, we will use the OpenVINO Neural Network Compression Framework, where we apply a weight compression technique. This allows us to preserve the model's accuracy while improving its speed and reducing its size. For instance, our LAMA 2 7B model can be reduced from about 25 GB to 4 GB using 4-bit weight compression. Thanks, Dimitri. After quantizing the model to the infor precision like we just did, we can proceed with our next step, step 4 in our pipeline getting our embedding model up and running to convert the text from the documents that we're going to upload for RAG into embeddings. Here we'll use the all MPNet base V2 model, a general purpose sentence transformer model, and go ahead and convert it over to the OpenVINO format. So what exactly is happening behind the scenes here? To make it feasible to run this model, OpenVINO automatically takes this FP32 model and converts it to the FP16 precision halving our model size and footprint without any additional input needed from us. For step five, we'll next select the compute engine that we'll use to run our models. In this case, let's execute our embedding model on our CPU and our LLM model on the GPU. This is helpful because it can help us avoid host to device memory copy during the vector-based searching process. Step six, we're finally able to run our chatbot over our meeting notes. We'll go ahead and use LangChain to create embeddings of the document we'll be searching over using our embedding model and use our LLM model to generate the responses. Let's launch your application and see it in action. Let's go ahead and ask it, what are the three pain points of AI? And we can see now our model is going to go ahead and use the context provided from the document to provide our answer. All right, first, it's documenting high inference time and telling us that both of us have been discussing that one of the challenges is the high inference time, making it difficult to use in real-time applications. Second, it's listing the size of AI models as something significant. And third, the cost and internet connection issues that can cause big challenges. What can we ask next? What about summarize the pain points of AI to a five-year-old? Again, now the model is taking a little bit from the context that we've just shared with it and also trying to come up with its own synthesis of the summary. All right, so it's going to start to summarize it in one sentence. It says, AI models can be really slow sometimes, like when you're trying to play a game or watch a video, and it takes a long time for them to finish. It's like waiting for a really long time for a pizza to cook. 
What's next? Well, it's wherever you choose to take it. Here's three places to get started. First, you can clone the demo and this notebook and run it and find many others on the OpenReader Notebooks repo today. That's open source and free for you to be able to try on your system. If you're looking for a put together solution you can integrate in, into your workflows, we have also created an open source conversational voice agent kit you can use today for free. To read more about OpenVINO and LLMs, you can also check out our new white paper here. As you're building your AI solutions, we are here to help. You can reach out via the OpenVINO Notebooks GitHub repository to share your questions and examples of projects you're working on. We're excited to see the extraordinary things you can accomplish with the AI PC.